So, Wendigoon is a very popular YouTuber who makes iceberg content, he'll talk about popular conspiracy theories, and his content is awesome. I've watched some of it, it's great, like, TV YouTube content. You ever just be in bed looking for a video to put on the TV, and you realize the Achito video is just not gonna cut it for the TV? Yeah, go watch this guy, this guy knows what he's doing, he's great, it's high quality stuff, and yeah. Now, Wendigoon is not a very controversial figure, sure, his videos discuss subjects that are controversial, but when he talks about these things, he's very unbiased, he doesn't insert a lot of his own opinions, or he doesn't push viewers away by overly going into his own beliefs with politics and stuff like that. And if you just look at YouTube and you read his comments, you would completely agree with me. It doesn't seem like anyone in the comments section is calling him out, criticizing him, going into detail about why he sucks or anything like that. But if you go on Twitter, well, that's a different story as it always is. On Twitter, you have the people that are fucking angry about anything and everything, and yeah. And generally, there's a certain given level of toxicity with Twitter that you just have to know is gonna come at anybody at any time. So you're not going to necessarily be canceled on Twitter if, like, you have a few accounts talking shit about you. That's just kind of par for the course. That's how it goes. Like, the burger is served with fries on the side type of thing. Like, the fries come with the burger. But there is a certain noticeable level where the given toxicity, the built-in sort of hate and cancer of Twitter gets to a point, it's no longer like a benign tumor that's like the size of a pimple, and it's now a fully malignant tumor that's drooping your arm down, you know? And for Wendigoon right now on Twitter, it's actually gotten to that level where he's been getting hate on Twitter from people that are criticizing him for mainly being a Christian and loving his wife. Uh, okay. Well, there was some hate that was going around earlier this year against Wendigoon. As you can see, this person got 13,000 likes by tweeting, I just thought Wendigoon was an incel. I didn't realize he was a full-blown neo-Nazi who loves Kyle Rittenhouse. This gets 13,000 likes, uh, which is insane. And then this person replied to themselves by saying, like, I'm genuinely scared shitless of what he might might do. What? <laughs> Alright, so let's unpack this here. He's a full-blown neo-Nazi who loves Kyle Rittenhouse. Okay, well, Kyle Rittenhouse, the whole Kyle Rittenhouse thing was in 2020. Long story short, he was a guy who shot some people in self-defense. The court said he did shot people in self-defense. He didn't go to jail. Okay, fine. To me, that seems like something that's, you know, while political, somewhat fair to, you know, defend. I mean, like, out of all the issues that you can have a political opinion on, that one does seem like one where it's like, you know, if the court says he's not gonna go to jail and you say, I don't think he should go to jail, I mean, you're kind of, I feel like you have the popular opinion opinion or what should be, at least the legally correct opinion. But this person saying because he defended Kyle Rittenhouse that she's scared shitless of what he might do. What do you think he's gonna do? Like, go to an airport with a bomb? You think he's gonna go to an airport, look the minimum wage TSA worker in the eyes, and then approach him, whisper to him, hey, don't be a hero. Don't be a hero today. <laughs> and then he just like blows up the airport or something? What? You think he's just gonna like get a gun? Just kill people? No, obviously not. You're deranged and insane if you think that's what's gonna happen. He's not deranged. You are. As you can see, this is from May 12th, 2023. So earlier this year, got 1.2 million views. Now, as I said earlier, this is sort of like the benign, given toxic cancer of Twitter. Like, this is the built-in cancer, which is why I don't think Wenagoon talked about this at the time. This is just sort of like, you kind of have to bite the bullet and expect that some stuff like this is going to happen. Well, this hate has actually picked up pretty rampantly now on Twitter, and we're going to get into some of the, the examples that I'm seeing of this taking place. But I first want to show Wenagoon's response to the recent hate. Wenagoon says, some rude and slanderous things have been said about my character, and I just want to be clear that I'm not right-wing or bigoted or anything besides thankful for the opportunity to make goofy YouTube. The only thing I believe in is love God and my wife. That's like a wholesome chungus 100 Keanu Reeves moment, my boys. Like, that's like a Grimace Ohio Kaisenat W Riz moment. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing. And he, he corrects himself by saying, YouTube videos, minor spelling mistake gif of Patrick getting blown to fucking smithereens. And then he follows himself up by saying, also, please do not harass or insult anyone who has said things about me. No one's livelihood should be attacked or threatened regardless. Challenge the argument, not the person. Engaging with them just makes it more popular. Best to leave it be. This guy is such a mature adult and I love it. He's like, he has too much manners for Twitter. Some of these people do not deserve the kindness and politeness that he's putting out there. These people, like, with some of the ways that they behave, they do not deserve this kindness. But he still gives it out. Love this man. Well, as you can see in the replies, Shoe on Head, thanks for unblocking me, by the way, puts in some examples of more tweets hating on Wendigoon. And she captions the tweet saying, the only thing I believe in is loving God and my wife. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the issue. Uh-oh. I remember being subbed to him when he had, like, 4K subs and unsubbed when I heard him talk about religion in a random random vid, LMAO. He legit cannot go one video without saying he's a Christian. Oh, God forbid. 
forbid, God forbid, the faith that he holds the closest in his life is something that he brings up in his own YouTube videos. Wow, that is insane. He just, he can't go one video without saying it. First of all, his videos are long. That's why I mentioned earlier, it's TV content. His videos are long, so, and with the topics he's talking about, it probably makes sense that he would talk about it at some point, right? I mean, it seems like a combo for him to bring up his own religion in it. Also, a lot of people in their YouTube videos talk about things that, you know, they are. Like, they talk about, like, their sexualities, their gender, their life experience, whatever, but why is it, like, bad that he says that he's religious or Christian or something? Would it be better if he, every video said he's an atheist? Is it, is it, is it, like, Christian-specific thing that it's a problem, or is it, like, the redundancy? It seems that it might be a specifically Christian thing, if I'm just guessing. Next one says, what? The devout Christian is a bigot? No. Shocked. Bigoted? How? Explain. Is there, like, proof that he's bigoted? Is, did you just, like, pull that out of your ass? Like, did you put your hand up your ass and then, like, pull that out of it? Like, I don't... Cut out, cut that out. Like, did you just pull that out of your ass or what? Like, is that like a real thing or is that like something that you came up with made up in your head? And then Bosman says, well, yeah, no shit. He kept talking about how Christian he is. When I found out he was a Christian and that he also posted about guns on Twitter, I put one plus one together and the result was a red flag. Yo. Oh man. You hear that one, Nagoon? You hear, you hear that? You are a Christian and you like guns. It's over, bro. This person put two and two together. You can't hide anymore. We found your secret. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little schizo. Let me, I don't want to break my monitor. I immediately felt off about him when he stated he was a devout Christian in one of his iceberg videos, but I brushed it off because I had a little bit of hope he wasn't like the rest of them. Bitter lesson to trust my gut. Dude, all right, let, let's just point something out here. Kate.png, don't send hate to this person, but I want to just make an example. Your profile picture is literally dream with like some sexuality different colors of a certain sexuality around that circle. You quite literally are doing the same thing that Christians do when they put like a cross in their display name on Twitter or a cross in their profile picture. Like, do you, do you, do you not get it? People be like, oh, religion. They, he talked about how he's a devout Christian, man. I didn't hope he's not like the rest of them. That is quite literally the adjacent prejudice to me seeing the fucking LGBT thing in your profile picture and saying like, oh, this person's fucking gay. Oh man. Yeah, they're probably gonna be annoying and I, I definitely don't want to talk to them. Do you see that? Like, do, do, literally, like, that's like me thinking that, talking to you, and then being like, oh, yeah, just like the rest of them. Oh my gosh, and I'm queers. Like, what? Really? What do you mean? Being Christian is sus, LMAO. Yeah, I wonder why Christianity would be a red flag in America. It's not like half of Americans are trying to enforce pseudo-biblical laws to force a religious hegemony on the people. Are you serious right now? One of the biggest debates in the country right now is if minors should be allowed to get gender-changing surgeries, and you're saying that the biggest thing that is happening is pseudo-biblical laws? Really? G give me the most recent law that was passed where the Bible was cited as like one of the reasons it was passed. I, d I don't think it's even close to happening. Or it's happened anywhere in the past like 20 years or something. The thing is, most people call themselves Christians to hide the fact that they're terrible people. Genuinely good people don't need to be afraid of an invisible, omniscient space daddy who will send you to hell for drinking soda depending on what your sect of Christianity in order to be good. Yeah, I think this person has like a traumatic childhood or PTSD or something. I don't even know what they're talking about. You'll go to hell if you'll drink soda. Nobody thinks that at all. So, and then again, you have the same classic Twitter thing, space daddy this, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll go to hell. Oh, you, you listen to your space daddy, your sky daddy? And it's like, okay. Oh, wow. You got me, dude. Wow. I have a belief in something beyond the material world. I also find it very interesting how they intentionally say sky daddy because it sounds like gay. So they're insulting Christians by being homophobic, which is what they criticize Christians for. It's like, oh, you have a sky daddy, that's gay. But it's like, if I call you gay, do the same thing. It's like, then I'm homophobic. It's like, it makes no sense. Next, when I saw him show off a gun in a video and I remember it is Christian, the whole thing of his name, yeah, I wasn't surprised. Lily, I remembering thinking at one point, wow, a devout Christian who seems normal. I'm glad his Sunday school kids have seemingly pretty chill teacher. Nope, devout Sunday school teacher is normal, lol. Should have known then. 
Old devout grown man Christians are like that. That's insane, bro. So that's the one from Shoe on Head. Somebody responded by saying, Newsflash, being a Reddit atheist isn't just being a normal guy despite what others tell you. Facts. Now, someone responds to Wendigoon by saying, I honestly don't get why you don't just change your name. Like, from what I've seen, indigenous people have told you time and time again it makes them uncomfortable, so why keep it? I don't even know what the backstory is. Maybe Wendigoon is insensitive or cultural appropriation, but, um, didn't ask, don't care, plus the hood watch is Wendigoon. Yeah, get owned, get ratioed, you suck, you're lonely, you're depressed, you have to type on Twitter to get things accomplished that don't need to be accomplished in order to make yourself feel like you're getting stuff done. You suck. I don't like you. Like my shirt. America, bitch. Get used to it. Okay. I speak my mind here, buddy. Anyway, I don't know. I just thought this was a little stupid. Um, I don't really have much to say about this. I feel like this is like so brain dead that any opinion I insert here is like so given that my comment section is going to be like, Captain Obvious here. Captain Obvious reporting for duty. It's like, well, yeah, but you know, there are people who are trying to cancel him. So, well, it's obvious to all of us. Maybe some people have to hear it. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.